we. Hey, I'm Terry Schwartz from IGN, and we are here on the set of Venom, where they are bringing this iconic character to life. We are going to be talking to the creative team behind the movie to find out just how this film was made. Can you talk a little bit about uh, sort of making the Venom character distinct from sure. his Spider-Man origin? Our movie is a, an origins movie. We show how the Venom symbiote came to Earth, how Eddie Brock got to meet the symbiote, how it bonded with him, and then ultimately became the Venom character that we all know from the comics. We are Venom. It's not based on the Spider-Man Venom. It's a different origin story. Inherently, Venom is a darker character, so the, the high school element of Spider-Man doesn't really apply here. Venom is uh, obviously a character that's been established already in the comic books, so we have a lot of visual reference to go on. But what's really interesting about Venom compared to other superhero characters is that Every artist interprets him differently. Venom is constantly changing because he's this amorphous, shape-changing symbiote. The Venom creature is a sort of uh, this alien slug-like creature which gets inside somebody's body and then takes them over and transforms them into this very large, muscular, black-skinned uh, creature. Venom can send out tentacles and create shields and webs. All sorts of interesting shapes that can build off his skin all the time. So he's never the same thing twice. Trying to figure out that and put that into reality, that's a really interesting challenge. Were there any particular uh, comic book iterations of Venom in, in design choices that you were pulling from and sort of constructing the look of the character? When you look at the comic drawings, you see how different styles have changed over the years, but there is this constant thread of dynamism that runs right through them, and that's what we're looking to capture in the character. The real big difference between Venom and other superhero characters is Venom is a, is a multiple personality. There's a Jekyll and Hyde thing going on. You know, he's, uh, uh, he's mild-mannered Eddie Brock, and then this extraordinary thing comes out of him. There is still that sense of Eddie being inside Venom. There's a continual dialogue going on between the two. And of course, Tom is voicing both parts of this. Uh, this gives the character uh, an interesting twist, this idea that there's this constant sense of conflict, argument, uh, exchange going on between them. And then eventually, of course, they build to a point where they are working together, they're interacting together, and they're becoming something uh, stronger than they were before. That's a tease of what's to come for Venom, and IGN has plenty more coming. IGN Premier is rolling out an exclusive week of Venom content. Tune in tomorrow for a look at how Tom Hardy is bringing the lethal protector to life. And for plenty more on Venom, make sure to watch the director explain why Venom ditched the white spider symbol. For all things comics, be sure to like and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.